back with another market video guys yes market has been fixed <laughs> at least a part of it right now we can set our 79 team of the week players from two weeks ago um they are pretty cheap yes they're not that expensive but but i think you can buy them around 170k let's see vester guard yeah 170k the same with luis alberto and who else Debussy, yeah, they are hovering around 180k, um, which is the price we bought them at, that's decent, hopefully tonight when icons will refresh, they will go up, I'm not so sure of it, uh, the reason for this is because 80 rated cards are crazy cheap guys, 80 rated card cards, because of the team of the season cards, you can find some of them below 200k guys, Basically, right now it's better to buy 80 rated cards than 79 rated cards. You can snipe them for below 200k and I think below 220 or 230 you can buy them easily. Let me see below 220, yeah. Small of easily below 215. Um, there are some others as well uh, that you need to snipe to get. One Yamaha 214. Uh, Team of the season, Morrison 208, Madison, my bad, not Morrison, Madison. Um, so this is why I'm not sure about investing in 79 cards. Uh, people will still use them, of course, but, but there's not going to be that huge of a demand considering we have elite cards and we'll have more and more elite cards as time goes on because team of the season just puts in so many players guys so many team of the season players we also have the attack mode players i wonder how many only community team of the season players we have i mean we have only above 83 we have like 20 of them and we also have the ones below 83 we have lots of 80 to 82s the good thing is that at least all the players are now available to sell 89 ibrahimovic team of the week ibrahimovic what yeah that's not a good one 1 1.6 it's around 1 milli at the moment yep i think he sells for like 1 milli let's find out below one yesterday night when the market was fixed he was going for 800k and of course that was too too cheap he might go up in the future i'm not sure but at the same time i'm not going i'm not gonna invest in him at 1 milli he should oh one at 965 there um yeah, I'm very skeptical in investing into players, but but it could prove out to be... I mean, you know what? Let me buy one. Let me buy the one at 965. I just can't resist it, guys. I, I've seen his price rising from yesterday from 800k to 1 million now. At 960, that might be a good buy, good investment. Lunar players, though, are still very, very cheap and... Considering the insane market crash we're dealing with, I don't think they'll go up in the near future. I'm not sure if they'll go down neither, but yeah, going up seems like pretty much impossible. If they will go up, it should happen tonight um, when the icons will refresh. If not, I think they'll never go up again, at least not during team of the season, yeah. I should have sold my Tolisos, right now he's like 400k, I could have sell them for 500k, I fucked it up, he might go down even further, I don't even know, I don't even know. I'm gonna try to sell them tonight guys, tonight after Icons refresh, I'm gonna try to sell Toliso, maybe even Bernardo Silva, and I'll go from there. And of course I'll see what happens with the 79 team of the week players. Hopefully, hopefully they will go up as well. If not, I might sell those ones. If the prices don't go up tonight, I don't see they going up in the near future. So, tonight is the night, guys. If I see a slight increase, I'm gonna just sell them very, very quickly. Even though I am taking a loss, it is what it is. I'm gonna regroup and go from there. But as I said, the important thing is that we have a slight hope considering all players are sellable now and considering I've seen a price increase, a normal price increase which should have happened in Ibrahimovic 
price from yesterday night to today. I'm not gonna talk too much about, about players with high potential to increase just because we are in the middle of a market crash and it could go much much worse in the upcoming weeks. We will see lots of team of the season cards being put into the market, high rated cards, they will go for cheap which means other players, high rated players will go for cheap as well. It's very very hard to make coins at the moment through trading and we all know what happened in the past one month with the market bugs and stuff so everything is very risky i wouldn't invest if i invest i would invest in maybe one or two ibrahimovic at below one milli and if you want to snipe you can snipe there are many many players that you can snipe below 200k elite couple cards and that's pretty much it guys thank you very much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you think about this video in the comments down below Share if you think my content is worthy. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.